Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to learnautomation.com. In this video tutorial, we'll mainly focus on how we can set up a Maven project for Cucumber. So if you have gone through my previous videos, I have downloaded the separate jar files from their respective libraries and I have added in the Java project. That's not a good or you can say the ideal process because this will include your manual task. So let's do the things in a smart way. Let's create a Maven project and let's add all the dependencies which is required for Cucumber. So what exactly we are going to cover, we'll create a Maven project today and we'll add all the dependency which is required for Cucumber and Selenium. And in the last video, whatever feature file and test runner we have used, I will directly copy paste here because that again, same uh, code we are going to use now. The main motto of this video is just to convert our plain Java project into the Maven project. So the dependencies which you need is first dependencies Cucumber Java. If you can see the artifact ID which we have to use Cucumber Java 1.2.2. So a special note here, whatever dependencies related to Cucumber we, you are using, it should be in a same version. I mean, if you're using Cucumber Java 1.2.2, you need to use the same version for the other jars as well. So the second dependencies which we are going to add is Cucumber JUnit and same version we will use 1.2.2. And the last dependencies uh, we will add JUnit dependency as well because we are going to work with J, uh, JUnit, right? So let me go back to Eclipse. This is our previous project which I created in day one. We created uh, this feature file, we created this step definition and finally this was our test runner, right? So let me close all of it and if you remember we added these jar files. So in previous video we have added jar file 1.1.2 so let's use the latest one 1.1 1 .1, sorry 1.2.2 so to create a maven project simply click on file and Right now I'm using Eclipse Mars, that is 4.5.2. So if you are using the same version, that is Eclipse Mars. Sorry, this is Luna. I have another instance as well. So if you are using Mars, you will get this Maven project uh, inbuilt. So you don't have to install any plugin, but if you're using older version of Eclipse, you need to install as a plugin here. So let's go ahead. And if you're not sure about how to work with Maven, I already created two videos in my Selenium WebDriver series. I will give you the link in the description of this video so you can go ahead if you're completely new to Maven. So let's go ahead, click on file, click on, uh, you can see we don't have a Maven project here. I will click on others and we have this section Maven. Click on Maven project. Click on this create a simple project, click on next. Group ID, artifact ID. So let me give it's com dot. You can give any name. I'm just giving very meaningful name. Learn automation dot cucumber. So it will be easy for me to remember. And from today onwards, we are going to use this project only. So make sure you are working with Maven project. So name description, it's optional. So let's click on finish. So this is the folder structure which you will get. Right now you can see we have only JRE section. So once we add the dependencies, you will get all the Maven dependencies here. So let me add the, I will say Cucumber Maven dependency. So you will get this option, Maven dependency. Oh, sorry, let me open in incognito mode. If you simple type Selenium Maven dependency, sorry, Cucumber Maven dependency. So this is the official site. Let's click on the first one, which is more meaningful for me. So you will get couple of uh, dependencies here. So you will get for Cucumber J unit, Cucumber Java. This is the two thing which I want. Once we move forward, you will notice we can uh, add this, but Good thing about these two, once you add this, you will get internally these as well. So let's uh, take the first one. 
open the new tab, add the Cucumber Java as well. So latest version is 1.2.4. So let's take the beta uh, alpha version. So I will recommend you to use 1.2.2, which is highly stable. So just copy this dependency. And same thing we will do for Cucumber Java. Let's click on 1.2.2 again. So these are two dependencies which I'm going to use. Apart from that, we need JUnit dependency. So I will simply type JUnit Maven dependency. And again, I will get this Maven repository. So I will take the latest version. So here it is still showing 4.4, but the latest version is 4.11. We'll use the latest one. Apart from that, last one is Selenium Maven dependency. Click on the first link. So now I have these four tabs. I need to add all these as a dependency. So this is the project which we created and this is the pom.xml. So let's double click on this. By default, it will open in an overview mode. So click on this pom.xml tab double click on it so first we will add one tag called dependencies inside these dependencies I will add all the dependencies which we need so the first one let's include this selenium one because we are going to integrate this with selenium control s so it will start downloading this second is your J unit Here the version is showing 4.4. Let me change it to 4.11. Third one is Cucumber JUnit. It's taking time, so let's in the meanwhile add this Cucumber Java. And the last one is why it's taking so much time? Let me refresh it. So we have separate JUnit for Cucumber. So let's copy this. Still loading. Maybe I can close this and start a new session. Yeah. So let's copy this. And let's press Control S. So when you press Control S, you can see a separate section added here, Maven dependencies, and all the related jars is coming here. So you can see all these Cucumber core, Java, HTML, JVM devs, Gherkins, all this will come. So now we are ready to start. Our Maven project is ready. I can directly uh, either I can create a new one or I can copy the existing feature files which I created in the pre previous tutorial. So I will, this is the feature folder. So I will copy and I will paste here. Uh, so I got this feature folder where I have one feature file. Test Facebook smoke scenario. Open Facebook start application. Pass this credential user and password and then you should be able to log in. So I have this runner, so I will copy this runner package and I will keep inside SRC test Java. So right click and paste. So I have this runner. I will tell you what exactly it is. And this step definition, copy from here and paste here. So this video will be beneficial for you if you have gone through the previous two tutorials. So make sure you have covered so i can see it is throwing me one error like it is not able to understand this what is this cucumber dot options so this option was available in the previous version so in the latest version they have changed it to cucumber options so this you can import if you put mouse over here
my system is slow today it's taking so much time for a specific import so if you put mouse over it will ask you to import this cucumber options previously it was cucumber dot option but in the latest jars they have changed it to cucumber options so now we have three imports one is your run with one is your cucumber option and final one is your j unit one now in one of my youtube video uh, i got one comment why we are running always from test runner can't we run this yes we can run through this as well so to run this feature file right click on your feature file run as cucumber feature if it is not working then again run as and click on run configuration and this time run this is the previous instance it is taking so let's close this run it again run as cucumber feature run configuration it is okay it is still focusing on my previous project so i can select the new project and here i can select the feature path Not this one. So right click on this, run as. So the previous issue was, it was focusing on the previous project. So if you want to run directly from this feature file, so the project which we are using is com.learnautomation.cucumber and the feature file path, where the feature file is located. So this is the feature folder path. So I just specified the which feature file we want to which feature file folder we want to use. So if you specify the location, and that's fine. So now if you run this, you can directly start from the feature file itself. So it started. So it is running your feature file. So it is saying running tests Facebook smoke scenario. And here you're getting one warning message like Cucumber JVM format option is deprecated. Please use this plugin instead. So we'll tell you what exactly this is. This is our test which is running in the background, which we executed via Cucumber. Username, password, click on login, that's all. So now if you go back here, you will see this is one scenario which is passed. Total three steps executed. Now, what is the three steps? These three steps which we have specified, given, when, then. And uh, if you see in the right hand side, which method is associated with this particular uh, step is this. You can see which method is associated with this is this. And the last one, then. So this method is associated with this step. So what exactly it is warning. So this warning tells in previous versions, we used to uh, use this format options to generate reports. So now Cucumber guys have ch changed the syntax. So we need to use this plugin to generate reports. So this is what my next tutorial is. In the next tutorial, I will show you how you can generate HTML report. Right now we are not getting any reports. It's sim uh, it is simply printing on console. So in the next video, we'll discuss how to generate reports. You need to add only one line of code here in the test runner. So just create this Maven project, follow this as steps, and you will be able to get this Maven project. In future, we will execute this pom.xml to execute all over Cucumber. And finally, we will integrate this Cucumber with Jenkins. So this is all I have for today. So thank you so much. If you still have any doubt, you can drop me, uh, you can drop an email to my email mukeshotwani at learnautomation.com. And don't forget to subscribe YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you. Have a nice day.